Like other countries before it, Sweden has recently adopted its first defense space strategy. Without much originality, this strategy aims to ensure freedom of action in and through space, and to create a portfolio of space capabilities, services, and skills to support overall defense and crisis preparedness. Even though this strategy relies on cooperation between NATO and the European Union, EU, due to limited resources, Sweden has some strengths to act on its own. In January, Swedish authorities inaugurated a satellite launch pad at the Esrange Space Center in Lapland, which had previously been dedicated to scientific research, notably the study of the auroras, high-altitude balloons, and satellite tracking. In March, it was used to launch the Texas 60 VSB-30 rocket, which was supposed to carry a 400 kilograms payload to an altitude of 251.7 kilometers. Regarding military applications, the Swedish Air Force, Svenska Flygvapnet, plans to use the JAS-39 Gripen fighter jet to place nanosatellites in low Earth orbits. To this end, a study called STELLA has been commissioned to the Royal Institute of Technology, KTH, in Stockholm. Colonel Ella Carlson, head of the Space Division of the Svenska Flygvapnet, provided some details about this during the Farnborough Air Show, United Kingdom. She revealed that the idea for the Stella program was suggested by a former official of the Ukrainian Space Agency, who claimed that the reactive satellite launch by aircraft would have been a useful capability to have before the Russian invasion. According to the Royal Institute of Technology, it would indeed be possible to use a fighter jet to place two kilograms nanosatellites in low Earth orbit. However, it remains to be seen if the Gripen can do this safely. They are doing calculations. But if we need to rebuild the aircraft, we will not do it, said Colonel Carlson. The idea of using a fighter jet to put satellites into orbit is not new. Under the Airborne Launch Assist Space Access, a LASA program, DARPA, the Pentagon's innovation agency, awarded Boeing a $104 million contract to develop such a capability, which would rely on an F-15E Strike Eagle, equipped with a module that once released at 40,000 feet altitude, was supposed to place a 45-kilogram satellite into low Earth orbit. The goal was to reduce launch costs by 66%. In France, Dassault Aviation has also worked on this issue with the MLA, Mini Lanceur Aeroporté. Two versions, using an operational Rafale as the carrier aircraft, have been studied, explains the industrial company. The first, called Linear Single Body, would place a 75 kg payload in low Earth orbit, while the second, called Three Body, because it consists of a central body with two lateral bodies, would be able to carry a 150 kg microsatellite to an altitude of 800 km. Now, do you think small aircraft like Gripen can be used for firing rockets into space? Let us know in the comments. We discuss such interesting topics every day. Please like, share and subscribe for more such stories in the future.